promise for health care reform is to control costs. Well, let's look at the last time the government took an expanded role in health care. When considering projected numbers for this year, Medicare expenditures have gone up 1,352% since 1980. Stu Barney joins us now from the Fox Business Network. Stu, should we ever believe it when the government is in control of costs? Here's what we're asked to believe right now. Reform will lower the cost of health care delivery. It will lower the deficit. It will cost $829 billion, but we can pay for it with Medicare cuts and new taxes. Well, Shannon, what happens if we are wrong? We have been wrong in the past, as you pointed out. A quick look at Medicaid. First appeared in the mid-1960s, Congress said it'll cost $238 million in the first year. Totally wrong. In the first year, it cost a billion dollars. And now, Medicaid costs $251 billion a year. That's a quarter trillion dollars every year, up 24% in the last 12 months. So, what happens if the current projections of the cost of health care reform are as badly wrong as the projections have been in the past? Well, you're looking at enacting the biggest entitlement program ever and potentially the most expensive. It may run way beyond the current cost expectation, resulting in massive, massive borrowing in the future. And you know what, Shannon? It is essentially it's money, it is cost, it is debt. It, all of that is what is at the core of all the worry about health care reform. And Stu, with the history that you point out, how are so many politicians out there able to make these same promises over and over again when the numbers don't back them up? And why do millions of us continue to believe them every time this comes to the table? Well, it's in a politician's interest to make a rosy forecast saying we can afford this because they don't have to pay the price. By the time they're out of office, that's when it really starts to cost an arm and a leg. They don't have to pay for it. They're not accountable. Decisions made now are not, you are not held accountable five, ten years down the road. You're probably no longer in office. So you push it through now, make your rosy promises, get elected, deliver to the voters, and everybody's happy, except not in the future. I've got to believe, though, that a lot of folks have good intentions, maybe on the front end of these promises. I mean, isn't there some integrity left in Washington? I mean, people who feel bad about some of these messes well, that are left behind? Uh, uh, Shannon, forgive me for being a cynic, but we are asked to believe that over the next 10 years, Congress, which answers to voters, will cut $400 billion out of Medicare. Medicare recipients vote. Are we expected to believe that Congress really will enact almost a half trillion dollars worth of cuts? I'm sorry to be cynical. I just don't believe it. All right, Stu, you are our favorite cynic. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks. <laughs>